Welcome back everybody. Here I got Lowrider Magazine, April of 1998. I did take a quick flip through it. I saw that, that there's like 226 pages and the spine is super thick. It's a thick ass magazine, man. I think by now all of Lowrider Magazines are gonna have a bunch of pages. So there's no point in rushing through it. So let's get into it. Man, the table of contents is always pretty cool. You got like a B-side cover photo of the front cover. And I love the little image in the background. I wish that they would make this a little bit more visible, but it's all good. Music, letters, more letters, stickiness, some wheels. I was taking a look at these um, wheels the other day and there's so many crazy designs and they're all really different than the next, you know? It's always a trip. Luxor Dynamic. Atomic Gold Touch. Vintage Accessories. Just take a look at all these like different shapes, different combinations. Make your card look have a whole different feel to it. Here we have a Spirited Celebration. The San Fernando Valley Lowrider Council organizes a Toys for Tots show and shine. Pretty cool. I've always seen the Lowrider community doing Toys for Tots. Here we have Lowriding represents at the 98 Los Angeles Auto Show. Pretty cool. The Nopi, I love the happy face, dude. It's really crazy. The two badges of Mona Ruiz, the lives of Mona Ruiz. I'm assuming that she was once in a gang or something and that she became a police officer. One time homegirl goes back to the streets as a police officer. Ooh, that sounds really interesting. Here we have cruising is not a crime. Kansas cruisers and cops learn to work together. That's a really cool article too. Here we have Join the Club. Lowrider. National Lowrider Club Registry. It's pretty cool. And here we have... Is this a cover car? I think it is. You got the girl with boots. Wearing all red. Man, the background looks sick, man. It kind of has the Adobe brick kind of feeling to it. And then the... The new age lowrider, old school car with the lowrider Chicano twist. The lady with the cowboy boots. The interior, brown and pink. It kind of reminds me of like that Duvalin, you know, that little candy. Man, and the front, the hood, man. Crazy murals going on. This all looks sexy, man. All the little designs on the side of the car. It kind of looks like it's glowing. Then right here. That's really cool. Everything's lined up on the inside. This is a really good um, like shot of the car. And end of the environment as well. Pride and joy. From hand-me-down to showstopper. Damn, dude. This is a 85 Buick Regal from Luis Renteria Jr. El Paso, Texas, no affiliation to no car club. And then we zoom over to Miami 98. South Florida welcomes the Caliente Tour kickoff show. Hell yeah, bro. Check out the crowd. Not a single cell phone in hand. Because cell phones didn't exist back then. Yeah. Trophy winners. Crazy ass rides. Miami, huh? I know these foods are freaking crazy on the on the internet these days. Here we have Martha and Aisha with the fellas. Man, it's a fat ass crowd. You got low boys, Latin cruisers, sweet impressions. The day ten sweeps. A little continuation. You got the bikini models. Barbie, Diane, and Ale. Are all living dolls 
<laughs> That's a kind of weird caption, but it is what it is. What sick ass ride right here. German Melendez, the perfect image. Me Mail truck. I was about to say mini truck. Here we have Roy Ortiz, wicked one. Hops to 40 inches. Caliente Tour. Miami 98. This picture right here is really cool. This one también, the, the hard bodies. Hard bodies hitting it up. Miami 98. Crazy trucks, crazy tricks. The dancing is always pretty cool. What? <laughs> Here we have El Padrino. This 37 is fine for now. What the hell is going on? What does that even mean? But this right here, man, these curves, mouth watering. Um, I think this is the guy that's on the front cover, the Paul Rodriguez character. Apparently, he's like some kind of comedian. And the girl también, sexy ass outfit, man. It says, hey, isn't that Paul Rodriguez? Oh, yeah. And here's this fool, like, otra vez. Elite car club. Just a all-around clown, you know. The owner, Mario de Alba. A 37 Chevrolet Master Deluxe from Pomona. Elite car club. Damn, dude, El Padrino. Such a badass ride. And a name. Wire Wheels Headquarters. Crazy Designs that spin. Mississippi GMC really smooths out the rough spots. Dark Fader. Oh, that's a <laughs> funny name. And Jersey Dwali. Man, the... The paint job on this is crazy. From black to red. Smooth transition. And then this fool has a long ass truck with a fat ass amount of batteries. The front is really sexy. Here's a cool picture of the, the fools right there. Some more factory direct tires. What? No way, dude. Out of this world, damn sexy ass photo shoot, man. They're either in the studio with a like a fake backdrop, or they're in a, on a freaking island, man. This is right here. Rendell renders his heavenly four door Saturn. Man, crazy ass trip, man. Sick ass ride. I'm pretty sure that's a fake backdrop, but man. The chick, super beautiful. The car, también. You can see little dots of the um, candy flakes, making it look like glitter. The interior, I love how you like, even from back here, you, you can see really clearly into the inside. And the, the mural looks pretty cool. Man, I know I'm gonna turn the page and then everything's gonna be black and white pictures. Um, right here, out of this world. And owner, Rendell Venezuela, 94 Saturn 2L, no, SL2 from Honolulu, Hawaii. Damn, bro, that better not be a fake backdrop because that's a sick-ass environment, man. No affiliation to a car club. And then right here, they kind of they kind of threw me off with this, but this is a, the To Live crew, the real one. That's a pretty cool um, just picture. The homies at the at the bar or something. The real one featuring Casey and the Sunshine Band, Freak Nasty, Loonies, and Ice T. In stores now, March 17, 1998. Man, dude, this one's freaking sexy, dude. Probably definitely a banger from this issue. Maybe my favorite one. Otra vez, Paul Rodriguez. This fool's everywhere. Uncooked. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of like photoshopped this fool everywhere on the Pollo Loco commercials, on Lowrider magazines, on school girls and cars, car collecting. It's from the Lowrider story. Man, this must have been like a really cool um, article if you're really into Paul Rodriguez. An exclusive interview with the actor comedian. 
Here we are at Dallas Fall Fest. Sick ass rides, huge ass vans. Here we have. Man, I can't really read it, it's so small, but it kind of looks like Phalanx Car Club. Here we have Lorena, Felicia, and Terry. Man, this ride right here. Super cool. Dallas. Hydraulic pumps. Here we have Roadster. More of Dallas. Cool little photo right here with Las Chicas de Dallas with the hood of a car just all the way up. Quarter panel, show you how to fix your car. Modern Auto. This is Mondera. Here we go with Gold Magic. This ride glitters for the gold. Damn, dude, beautiful car. Everything chromed out inside and under. And the interior, a hot brown. Super nice. Hey, this is the centerfold. Here we go, owner. Archie Raul Mendez Jr. 80 Chevrolet Caprice Classic from Little Rock, California. Clique East LA Car Club. A little bit more pictures from the inside. And here we go. Ba -dum -ba -dum. Budweiser. Damn. Sexy as fuck. Man. Apart from the girl, you got all of this right here. The whole front side of the car. A peek into the engine you can barely see the underside oh shit you can barely see the underside of the hood it's super nice it's lined up with all that soft stuff man that's a really nice hood man the back is also open you can see the inside of that and the girl with a blue Budweiser bikini damn sexy as fuck you got gold magic Budweiser, Classic American Lager, Lowrider of the Month. Beautiful interior, man. Such a nice car. Oh, I can't believe they put the, the centerfold right in the middle. Now I got to continue looking at the Lowrider magazine because everything after this is like kind of like a low, you know? Brother's fault. Bobby needed someone to blink for his 66 Super Sport. Here we have Blue Heaven. It's a pretty cool name. Piecing together the mystery of Jaime's 68. Is it Jaime or Jamie? The Bros. Explosive Mode. Messy Marv and San Quinn. Messy Marv. What? Sick ass picture right here. Do it to it one more time. Thump Records presents. Again, does Thump Records have a star on Hollywood Walk? Damn, this whole thing looks pretty like a uh, surreal, you know? You got the bikini model on the floor with Thump Records, but it's like it's super dark outside. Full Moon, old school funk mix too. Really nice. Restorations, player wire wheels, Wichita, the fourth annual Latin Dreams Lowrider Show. Super cool. This one right here is crazy. This is uh, David Douglas's Slam the Mini from Flatline Flatliners Car Club. This picture over here looks really cool too. Javet and Jade with Purple Haze. Hey, I've seen the Purple Haze before. Recognize the name. Continuation. They got the the crowd dancing. The fools playing with the model cars. Oh, lighter shade of brown. Adrian and Wilson from WPCCC. 
sick ass show. How to build your car, part two. Project Valvoline. Reds Hydraulics and Suspension. What? 98 Lowrider Car Club of the Year. Uso Car Club, what? Here we have Uso Chapter. Presidents receive awards for the first annual Uso Banquet. Banquet? Banquet? Crap, whatever. I can't say the, the word. 1996. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Man, that's how many um, Uso flags you have right there. While other clubs talk about being together, Yuso does it every day. Damn, that's hard. Team pictures with their trophies. Really cool picture down here. What is that? A, the Yuso San Francisco chapter in the front of the Golden Gate. That's badass, man. You got the Vato right here, shirtless, flexing. That's that's really sick, man. Super cool. You got Club of the Year continuation. I guess um, an interview with Kita. Club of the Year, man. Super nice. Improved ride handling and control. Roberts. No joke. No es chiste. It took the 13 year old and his father a year and a half to get the 76 Huffy to the ultra high level bike that you see here. Damn, bro. That must have been a really cool project with, for the son and the dad. Pretty cool bike, man. The dad and the son should have come out in the picture though. Oh, they're right here. Here we have for life. Jamie's topless SS is dressed to impress. Or Jaime's topless SS is dressed to impress. Oh, here, here's Jamie right here. Jamie! Damn, bro. This girl right here. The car, dark blue, and then the girl all in yellow. That's a pretty cool combination. The model's name. Anna Gonzalez. Ugh. Too sexy, man. Yeah, it's really cool. Really cool photo shoot. Jaime Ramirez Jr., a 64 Chevy Impala SS convertible from Fullerton, California. From Brown Pride Car Club. Really cool. 17 Reasons. Okay, 17 reasons for what? <laughs> Here we have Wicked Dreams. What? Sick ass truck, man. Crazy designs right here. I, I, I don't even know what this is, man. The interior también looks like all 90s. Color scheme. No, but dude, the freaking car is freaking fantastic. The freaking hood is freaking sick. The way it, it opens up and kind of leans forward. That's pretty badass. That man, everything's like all the added pieces right here. And then on this side, it's just straight white. The owner, Ricky Sanchez, a 93 Chevy extended cab step side from Caldwell, Texas, from Caliente Car Club. Damn, really badass. High low for the serious low rider. Best of the Impalas. Here we have Just Like Magic sound system. Directed electronic bounces. 85 Cadillac. Into the Euro scene. And here we are with the Lowrider Magazine Scholarship Fund. Please, Rasa, get a grip on the future with education. Deadline May 31st, 1998. Man, that's really cool. On the requirements, little introduction. I wonder what all the people that want the scholarship are doing now. Here we have Model 63. This full custom cruiser is a plain Jane no more. Damn, bro. The crazy 
light up squares all around the car kind of looks like it's um glowing again the interior looks like a santa claus kind of theme the back the mirror on the back though the aztec guy and the aztec lady really cool really cool touch malo from lupe a lopez a 63 Chevrolet Impala SS from Carlsbad, New Mexico from Majestics Chapter 8. Damn, where's Lupe at though? That's a sick ass um, photo shoot too. You have like a. I'm assuming that star is what. I don't know, but it looks like a pretty cool spot, you know? Here we have Menace, The Dennis, Cincinnati 66. Tommy knew what he wanted and he went for it. Tommy Man's a crazy cutter It's like not yellow But it's not green either It's like right in between Tommy Fisher A 66 Chevy Impala From Cincinnati, Ohio No affiliation Damn the picture right here Would have been sick in color Las Vegas low, low rider Car Show Damn this truck It's pretty crazy with the color Then right here you have the hopping contest and the lowrider back on the top. You got Royals, Las Vegas. Right here you have Sunny, Nadia, Lizeth, Angelica, and Karen. Noise. The Euro scene with organic abstract and sweet obsession. Damn, got the whole team right here. Sexy ass Honda, man. These two pages look really cool. Spanish gold. What? I've seen that chick before. What's her name? What's your name? Jody Castillo. Damn. Otra vez. Where are they, man? Adding some sportiness to a luxury lowrider. Man, the gold. Gold wheels, hints of little colors. The girl's skin is gold, but she's wearing a blue bikini. Really contrasting with the colors. The environment is like gray, purple, bluish. And so the gold really pops out. That's really cool, man. Spanish gold, we, we've seen this one before. Here's the bottle this time. What the hell is he wearing, man? How can you have a badass car like this and then dress yourself like that? <laughs> what the heck is going on? That fool looks like Toby from The Office. Armando Moreno, 97 Monte Carlo, 87 Monte Carlo Luxury Sport from El Paso, Texas, from Juarez Car Club. Sick ass plaque, man. Sick ass design. Hell yeah. Man, it's such a sick ass ride. CCE hydraulics crazy ass advertisement man freaking truck is just like kind of transforming Here we have Bomba Verde Joe never dreamed that his Bel Air would turn out so beautifully Hell yeah, bro. I Think this fool has a little What is that little thing little fire extinguisher? Bomba Verde By Joe Banuelos 53 Chevy Bel Air from Fresno Legacy Car Club Noise And I think you just got like I think that was the last lowrider Then you have lowrider Arte How is this a uh, drawing? That's crazy Such good artwork What? No way Luis A. Navarro from somewhere in California. Damn, it's a beautiful piece, man. So realistic. This one got a little creative with the paint splashes, but it came out really cool too. Robert Vincent from Sacramento. Here 
And I think that's it. Hey, you got a bunch of people for the mailbox roll call. Super nice. I always like the picture with um the kids, the bikini models. Someone's getting married. No way. From Escondido. She looks really nice. The dad with the kids. The guy with his lowrider and his car. Pretty badass. So this is a really cool mailbox roll call. No way. And a little continuation. You got the police or the soldiers. Sergeant Paul Harsha's 94 Honda Accord. From Richmond, Texas. That's really cool. You got um, bikini chicks. That's really nice. Man, this is a really cool mailbox. Send in pictures. The last, this is the last page, man. Lowrider magazine, CDs, old school mixes. Ouch. Pretty cool magazine. Really cool front cover. Really cool centerfold. The lowriders were pretty cool. The ones that were featured inside. And that's it, man. Peace.